Good evening, people, and welcome back to my channel. It's China Doll. So for tonight dining review, I'm going to be joined with tea because it's like an early birthday dinner celebration, and I'm going to be, we're going to be having dinner here at Marlowe's Tavern. This location is literally like down the street from the Orlando International Airport. Is that close? Um, I want to thank. Tasty Chomps for the gift card for tonight and for Marlon Tavern um, because without that I wouldn't actually never even heard of this place or even want to try this place but because of yeah Tasty Chomps I was able to try a lot of good food but thank you again for the gift card so we're gonna go in and I'm gonna show off all the food drinks everything so celebrate with the birthday boy his birthday is two days January baby so we're gonna go have some food let's go so I wanted to show off the menu on the top. It's like all their appetizers, their snacks. Um, they got burgers, um, a little bit of everything here. And then this whole menu is like they're all their drinks that they offer here. So Timo pointed out something very interesting. I didn't even notice it while I'm looking over the menu. But next to our table, he's like, why did they have this big giant pepper thing? And then right next to it, look how teeny this little salt is. It's like smaller than my hand. Look at this. It's like a kid's size version. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, so Tibo had got the Funky Buddha Floridian beer. I've never seen this or heard of it. But he says the best way to describe this beer is like the grapefruit beer, right? Yeah, it's a wheat beer. <laughs> so, Half a wife's it. <laughs> and then I got my favorite cocktail, a mojito. This is a black and berry uh, mo mojito. You can see the berries on top with the mint leaf. So this is always my to-go every time I like go to a restaurant. It's my top favorite drink. So, cheers. Okay, guys, we are going to cheers to celebrate his birthday. Oh, what are you doing? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Oh yeah, refreshing as always. I I love mojitos. I don't know why, but just this is my to go. Actually, my mom got me hooked on this. We went on our, our Cancun trip, our the Malta trip. She got one. I was like, what is that? She's like a mojito. So ever since I tried that, that's what actually got me hooked on this. Okay, the entree has arrived, and I had got the um the pumpkin crusted trigger fish. And this one includes, guys, <laughs> I got the pumpkin crusted trigger fish and this is the toasted pumpkin seed balsami rice, roast carrot, broccoli, tomato, berry, blank. This is was for $23. And Tibo's burger, he got the tavern burger, which includes the romaine red onion, roma tomato, tomato bacon jam, and the sesame brioche, brioche roll. All right, guys. So I'm gonna um, bite into my fish right now. Um, it's very like crunchy. I'm just curious how it's gonna taste. Let's see. Let's put a little bit of the sauce that comes with it and just bite and see how it is. Wow, it has really good flavors. It's kind of similar to a little bit of the fried fish because it has that crunchy crust on the top, but. All this like extra the broccoli, tomato, and the sauce that they put on the side, it goes really well with this fish. Um, I ordered fish tonight because usually when I go to restaurants, I'm always getting steak, and I wanted to switch it up and get something different. But this is a really good quality kind of fish. It's really good. Usually my favorite kind of fish I normally get is the um, the uh, sea bass, but this type of fish is really good. For some dessert or like yes, a milkshake or something. Sweet. I gotta get gas. Yeah, gas on your butt. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I'm done. You happy? You said yes. if I drink it, you'll be happy. I am you said this is your birthday present if I finish this. So what do I get? I finished the whole cup. You see, it's empty. You get the satisfaction of finishing a whole cup. Don't slam it. Okay, guys. So we just finished having dinner here at Marlowe's Tavern. The drinks 
was really good. I know I only had one, but it, for me, I'm very lightweight, so it was strong. But it was really fruity and good. Thibaut likes his Funky Buddha beer. I still can't get over the name Funky Buddha. That's a funny name, Funky Buddha. Anyways, so my fish, right? I gotta talk about it, my fish. The flavoring, the pumpkin, whatever, trigger fish was really good. It was like a fried fish. It was tasty. I ate the whole thing. That's how good it was. I consumed it in like a couple minutes. Um, it was very delicious. And he said that his tavern burger was good. But the only thing is, I tried some of his fries, and his fries was really salty. But overall, everything was good. Michaela, our server, was great. Recommended what dishes and drinks that she, were like popular or, or whatever favorites here. Um, and so far, I mean, I really, like I said, I enjoyed everything. The service, the food. It's a good spot and like if you're like by the old Ad International Airport, you should definitely stop for lunch or dinner because it's like convenient and it's I don't know. I like it, I would definitely come back again. Um so what did you think about it? Good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> now we gotta record you. <laughs> what do you think of the burger? What's your review about it? It was good. That's it, it was good. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> I think uh, he's camera shy. No, it was good. The ingredients were fresh. And, and it tasted really good. The <laughs> fries were a little salty. But yeah, that's what I said too about that, the fries. Did you like your funky Buddha beer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys. So... Let me know in the comments below, have you guys ever been to Marlowe's Tavern or are you planning to come here? And thanks again to Tasty Chops at Marlowe's Tavern for providing the gift card for dinner tonight. I really enjoyed it. Um, if you guys enjoyed the dining review with us, give us a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next adventure. Bye!